Welcome back to another live episode here at the Eternal Seth Network where we talk about everything Star Wars. Guys, today we have some news on the Skeleton Crew. But before you do start that, remember, hit that subscribe button as we're almost at 3,000. Smash that like button so we get this video trending and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So at D23 Expo 2022 this year, recently, I just passed like literally a week ago, during the Lucasfilm panel, John Favreau was on hand to explain how Star Wars The Skeleton Crew creator John Watts pitched him the idea for the show while the two of them were working on Spider-Man No Way Home in which Favreau appeared as an actor, which I have to say is a great movie. I, I really love uh, the Spider-Man trilogy. Now, John Favreau has noted that Watts had a really fully formed idea for what Star Wars streaming series could look like. And Favreau said this, I've been lucky enough to be an actor in the latest Spider-Man films. Yeah, Kevin Feige's back there going, yeah, like Spider-Man. So that's pretty cool. Then he says, they like Spider-Man. But I was working with John Watts and I happened to mention to him the last time I was working there that I'm working on The Mandalorian and how much fun it is. And would he ever want to collaborate thinking maybe he might direct an episode or something. And he said, oh, no, no, we have a really fully formed idea for what we want to do. Now, Star Wars The Skeleton Crew was developed by John Watts, fresh off his run off Marvel Studios and Sony Spider-Man trilogy of films. And the last of which, No Way Home, being a practically staggering success, which it really was. Like I said, No Way Home to me was phenomenal. I love that movie. Not to mention that Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau created and executive produced the mega hit series, obviously The Mandalorian for Disney+, and as well as The Book of Boba Fett and the Ahsoka series. With that kind of talent involved behind the camera, and always charismatic Jude Law as well as the lead series role, the Skeleton Crew is really shaping up to be a terrific addition to the franchise. Now, not much else is known about this series beyond the kids lost in space storyline, but the show is also being a very 1980s kind of a movie and kind of a tone that we're gonna get. It's also apparently set roughly in the same time period as the mandalorian so there's a chance that we might see a possibility of it being a crossover between the shows which would be dope so if you if anything you're kind of getting like this uh 80s vibe which i really like because I, I mean i love 80s vibes i'm a 90s kid so but what i'm li really liking is like it seems like it's going to be like a stranger things kind of a vibe now Comment down below if you enjoy Stranger Things. I'm not a fan of it. I've never watched it, but I do have to say this. From all the hype that I've seen from Stranger Things, and I've seen a couple episodes, but just not really like the whole thing. If this is what it's going to be like, I could see this series, The Skeleton Crew, going more than one season. Because if it has nothing to do with the Skywalker saga, and it's just about like kids lost in space with Jew Law, this is going to be dope. I can't wait to see it again. I don't know what to really expect other than just them being lost in space and finding their way and doing some fun missions in that process. But again, comment down below what you're most excited for, for the skeleton crew. And again, Jew Law is the series, you know, lead role. I love Jew Law. He's been in a lot of great films that I've seen that, you know, I've come to love as I've gotten older, especially from being a kid. I've seen him grow as an actor and phenomenal. He reminds me as well as uh, Ewan McGregor, kind of like the same timeline they came out. So again, really looks very, very promising. I have to say this show and this fact that we could possibly see these kids come across the Mandalorian and if they have, you know, maybe some force sensitivity that could add to the equation as well with Grogu. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Tell me what you think about this series and what you're expecting for it and what you're most excited for to see when it comes out next year in 2023. Now, we don't know when, but it's coming out sometime next year. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're always in the know, and smash that like button so we get this video trending. And also, stay tuned as I have another video out tomorrow. And remember, the eternal said, then, now, forever. Later, guys.